Wow. Okay, Dr. Payan, on your beast mode, go! Alright! <laughs> <laughs> no, so, today I will evaluate the integral 1 over x to the 4th plus 1 from 0 to infinity. Before I did that using complex analysis, maybe on another channel. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, yes. okay. 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 <laughs> but this time I will use it using completely elementary techniques in a way that even maybe a Calculus 1 or Calculus 2 students could do it. So step one, consider this integral. Okay, let's call it i. Integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over x to the 4th plus 1 dx. Here's a little trick. Notice x to the 4th plus 1 it's the same as x to the 4th plus 0 plus 1 dx. I know, oh, I know, crazy, but you'll see. You laugh, you're laughing now. You will not laugh later, okay? Because, yeah. <laughs> you know, here's the clever observation. Let a be pi over 4. And do not forget that because you were swimming in a's later on. And just remember, it's a constant pi over 4. Then, notice the following. If you have 2x, what is it? 2x squared cosine of 2a, that's the same as 2x squared a cosine of pi over 2, and that's equal to 0. Which means, in this 0 here, we'll be able to plug in 2x squared cosine of 2a. So, i becomes integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over x to the 4th plus 2x squared cosine of 2a plus 1 dx. Okay, next step, use a substitution. And it's not the usual one you think of. But it's something that will like simplify your integral a little bit, maybe. Okay, let's use u equals to 1 over x. Then du is minus 1 over x squared dx. And that's minus u squared dx, which tells you that dx is minus 1 over u squared du. And also, well, u of 0, that's really u of 0 plus, which is infinity, u of infinity becomes 0. So your integral becomes the integral from infinity to 0 of minus 1 over u squared over 1 over u to the 4th power plus 2, 1 over u squared cosine of 2a plus 1. Okay, and then du. Okay. Now, let's clean this up a little bit. First of all, this minus sign and this integral sign, we'll put it in the correct position. Correct position. Okay. Integral from zero to infinity, all right, of plus. And moreover, let's just make this nice again, you know, make integrals nice again. Let's multiply top and bottom by u to the fourth. So you get integral of u squared over 1 plus 2 u squared cosine of 2a plus u to the fourth du. And you know, you can just rewrite this as integral from 0 to infinity of u squared over um, u to the fourth plus 2u squared cosine of 2a plus 1u. Okay, so we rewrote this integral in a more complicated way, but you'll see there's a, there's a you know, reason for that. So step 3, I mean, no, hence, um, not yet, so hence, what do we have? I, on the one hand, by definition, that's integral from 0 to infinity, 1 over x to the 4 plus 2x squared cosine of 2a plus 1 dx. On the other hand, what we've shown here, 
is i is integral from 0 to infinity of, instead of writing u, let's write x again. So make America x again, OK? So, OK, 2a <laughs> squared cosine of 2a <laughs> plus 1 dx. We have that. Well, we have those two things. Let's just add them up. Okay. And you get in the end, let's see, r to i equals integral from 0 to infinity x squared plus 1 over x to the fourth plus 2x squared cosine of 2a plus 1 dx. Okay, but so in particular i is one half of that, 0 to infinity of x squared plus 1 over x to the fourth plus 2x squared cosine of 2a plus 1 dx. All right, now, this thing, it's an even function. And I can't even, because, you know, this is just a number, you know, we have just squares, you know, fourth powers. So in particular, if you have an even function, the integral from zero to infinity is equal to half of the integral from minus infinity to infinity. So i is actually equal to this integral, x squared plus 1, x to the fourth, plus 2x squared cosine of 2a, plus 1 dx. Okay, we're done with step 2. Now, step 3. Here's another clever observation. Okay, um, and again, unbelievable, you know, I have no idea how people would come up with that, but it's beautiful. Step three. Another clever observation. Okay, remember that I is integral from minus infinity to infinity, or maybe one fourth of this integral, integral of minus infinity to infinity of x squared plus one, of x to the four plus two x squared, cosine of two a plus one dx. On the other hand, let's add to this an odd function. So zero equals to integral one-fourth, integral from minus infinity to infinity of this thing, and again, there's no reason why this would work, but it will work, 2x minus 2x sine of a over x to the fourth plus 2x squared cosine of 2a plus 1 dx, and again, that's because we have an odd function, and an odd function on a symmetric interval is zero, the integral. And by the way, this is precisely why we went from zero to infinity to minus infinity to infinity. All right, add those up. And again, there's no reason in hell why this would work. It does work, okay? So i equals to one quarter integral from minus infinity to infinity, x squared minus 2x sine of a, you know, plus 1 of x to the 4th plus 2x squared cosine of 2a plus 1, yes. Okay, that was a clever observation. Next step. Okay, I know you've been dying to expand out this cosine of 2a. So let me relieve you of your suffering. So notice, right, cosine of 2a, that's, by the way, this is why we chose a to be pi over 4, because we want a 2a here, so we can expand that out. So cosine squared of a minus sine squared of a, and that's the same thing as 1 minus 2 sine squared of a. What does that tell us? i becomes 1 half integral from minus infinity to infinity of x squared minus 2x. Again, leave the numerators before. Minus 2x sine a plus 1. But this time, expand out this thing. 
this junk, which becomes x to the fourth plus 2x squared minus 4x squared sine squared of a plus 1. Horrible, horrible polynomial, but it turns out we can factor that. And you'll see, you know, <laughs> I get, it's really cool. So far, all I did, I started with this simple integral and I just made it more and more and more complicated. Because look, this is supposed to be 1 over x to the 4th plus 1, and I just made a mess. And usually in math, it's very dangerous to make things messier. But what do we have? Let's see. x to the 4th plus 2x squared minus 4x squared sine squared of a plus 1. That's equal to, let's just put all the stuff here together, x to the 4th plus 2x squared plus 1 minus 4x squared sine squared of a. Notice, this is a square, in fact. That's the same thing as x squared plus 1 squared. And the other one is 2x sine of a squared. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, so, and this is a difference of squares, which becomes x squared plus 1 minus 2x sine of a okay, times x squared plus 1 plus 2 sine of, 2x sine of a. Okay, but again, wait for it. And i becomes a fine integral. Integral from, a one fourth integral from minus infinity to infinity, x squared minus 2x sine of a over 1, divided by this thing, so I guess x squared, maybe let me rewrite this, minus 2x sine of a plus 1, x squared plus uh, 2x sine of a plus 1, dx. And here comes the most exciting thing of the today's video. Bang and bang! Whoa, okay, sorry, sorry, Steve. This thing cancels out. And we have, oh, glory. This becomes integral from minus infinity to infinity of 1 over x squared plus 2x sine of a plus 1 dx. Okay, next step. <laughs> Poor chalk. <laughs> Need to, you know. Here we have a square, you know, and one nice thing is just complete the square. Yeah, just throw it. Okay, fine, thank you. <laughs> So we have a square here. Let's just complete the square. Because life isn't complete until you complete the square. Okay. So i is one fourth integral from minus infinity to infinity of one over. Okay. This becomes x plus sine of a. Right. Because then it's x squared plus two x sine of a, and then plus sine squared of a, but let's just subtract this, minus sine squared of a plus 1 dx. Oh, how glorious is this? We have another, you know, trig identity. That's a 1 fourth integral from minus infinity to infinity dx over x plus sine of a squared minus, plus cosine squared of a which, by the way, it looks much, much nicer because those two things, remember, they're just constants. And so this becomes something, actually, it turns out this is much more integrable. <laughs> much more integrable. Okay. Because, first of all, let's change variables. u equals to x plus sine of a. Right? Then du equals to dx. The endpoints don't change. So we get integral from minus infinity to infinity. du u squared plus cosine squared of a. Okay. Then this is nicer. It's a square plus a square. Let's just factor out cosine squared. So one over four cosine squared of a. Okay. Integral from minus infinity to infinity. Du over u over cosine of a squared plus one. Then, let's change variable one more time. 
So, at V, V, U over cosine of A, I'd like to remind you, in case you forgot, A equals to pi over 4, so cosine of A is a uh, square root of 2 over 2, and that's, you know, uh, that's positive. The point is, it doesn't change our orientation when we plug that in, but then again, dV equals to du over cosine of A, so du equals to dV, and so cosine of A, dV. So in there, this becomes, again, we're almost done, so 1 over 4 cosine squared of A, cosine of A, integral from minus infinity to infinity of 1 over V squared plus 1 dV, okay. bang, 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 bang into the room, you know, and then we get 1 over 4 cosine of A, this thing, we know what this is, it's our good friend arctangent, so this becomes arctangent of infinity minus arctangent of minus infinity, okay, what, no, what? drop it on the floor. Oh, what? Well, nice. <laughs> well, I'm confused. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then, so, we get 1 over 4 cosine of A. Arctangent is this weird function that goes, you know, from pi over 2. It goes from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. So this is pi over 2 minus minus pi over 2 and that equals to pi, so pi over 4 cosine of a, but now I like to remind you cosine of a, again, is cosine of pi over 4, again, I already did that, but that's, uh, you know, um, square root of 2 over 2, okay. so we get pi over 4 times square root of 2 over 2, which becomes pi over 2 square root of 2, which you can simplify to become square root of 2 over 4 pi. Wow! And that's exactly the same answer we get using complex analysis, but just witness how great that is. You know? Wow! The hardest thing we did was, you know, use a you know, trick change of variables, just a simple change of variables, but of course, plus clever observations, but wow. amazing. Oreo. And if you love that, please subscribe to Fabulous Maths because that's just, you know, insane. Yeah. And of Ooh. course, subscribe to my channel if you like Up. it. Yay. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. So to say something in German. Huh? Auf Wiedersehen. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Bye. Auf Wiedersehen, Papa.